Hello everyone, it's Linda from Linda Z's in Arlington Heights, Illinois, returning from the great Wisconsin quilt show. Many of you probably didn't know that, but uh, Debbie, I think actually my daughter Debbie did a, a Facebook Live up there in the Madison area. We were doing a phenomenal, phenomenal quilt show, and I brought back some of the things that, I mean, I'm just surrounded with a plethora of amazing and inspiring things. And that's why I want to share them with you today. I think you're going to love what you're going to see. The um, people that were in the uh, Wisconsin quilt chart were just absolutely phenomenal. And I want to thank you guys. Uh, I can't even tell you what wonderful people that we met and had such a wonderful, successful show. You got great bargains. You bought wonderful machines. Our booth was the busiest in the show. At one point, we had 50 people walking around the booth because we brought in the newest and the absolute most creative things that you could possibly see in the quilt world. So I'm going to show you a couple of my favorite things today. They're sitting around me and you're going to, uh, I hope, recognize them as I talk them. But before I do that, I just, again, really want to thank the customers that came. I actually felt like I met new friends and I really mean that. We've been going there for eight years and um, it just was a like a welcoming home because so many people had been in shutdown and hadn't been able to you know get out of the house or um, you know come to a show like this and we just experienced some really wonderful things. The wonderful part for me for the show was sharing all of this and being able to show you the new K facet machines. I want to talk to you about the creativity of K facet. I know many of you know who he is, but do you really understand what he does? He is, I think, the most creative genius out there. He works in fiber and fabric. He actually doesn't quilt himself. Well, he does, but he the big quilts that he makes, he does not make those samples. He has somebody come in and he really, really has very, very, very per stiff parameters on what they can do and how they have to make the quilts. Because his most important uh, factor in making quilts is color. You can see a quilt behind me is color. It's not caves. It is a Tilda from Norwe Nor Norway. She's a Norwegian designer. But again, you're seeing color. Now, you can tell the difference between the Norwegian designer, and I love her stuff. I think it's phenomenal. And I'm going to do the last part of this video on it if we have time. If not, I'll break it into a second video where you can actually tell, I can actually go through and tell you about the colors and how she's put them together. But what Kaif does, and you know, this particular machine, look at the design on here. You can see that each one of these little flowers have been hand painted by Kate. First he takes and he draws, and then he goes in sometimes with watercolor, which is very, very difficult to do. If you're an artist, you know what I'm talking about. And then he will outline them and do background colors and put, look, look at who would put the maroon color here with the turquoise. I mean, it's just spectacular. And then put a little lavender in there and then some of the pink and then splash it with yellow so that you're really going to see some, you know, really bright colors going to pop out at you. Well, in order to do this kind of work, you really have to be an artist. And his partnering with Bernina for these, um, they're limited editions. And once those limited editions are gone, they are gone. You will never see them again. They will only increase in value. And I really, truly mean that. These machines will be extremely value in, valued in the future. I don't know if you know how old Kaif is. Um, he doesn't look it. If you've seen any of our signs of pictures of him, we've met him a couple times. And he's just an amazing, uh, amazing man. And his birthday is coming up in November. He's going to be honored at the Houston Quilt Show. He's going to be 85. And he's... 85 young strong and going and he has a new fabric collection which we have ordered and will be coming into the store and i do have three bolts of fabric here because i wanted you to see the color ranges this i think is just spectacular of the blues and the pinks and it's very difficult to put pink and blue together 
unless you've got the right combinations and you put the color into the blue and the pink that will kind of pop those two shades. So this is um, one of the shades of the of the colors that is going to be. This is a color of fabric he's had for a while in his line, but his new line is going to be called 85 and Fabulous. <laughs> I think it's just absolutely a great title. And again, we will have it in. We'll put a shout out to everybody when it comes so you'll know what it is. But look at this. I'm going to take, this is brand new. I'm going to take the wrapping off so you can kind of see it. And a, look at the shade of green on here. It's like, I mean, it's just a, a wonderful, wonderful look that, uh, and then a dark navy on the background. Uh, if nothing else, CAF will teach you about color combination. And don't be afraid to experiment. That's one of the things that I love about an artist. He takes color and he uses it and puts it together and helps you determine what you can use in some of your own quilts, even if it's not a CAF fabric. Now, you can also tell by this particular quilt, this here, this was what was the most popular fabric that he has ever put out. And we have it in umbrellas. You can see the umbrella here. I'll take one of these off and show them because I just love these. And this is the color that, uh, these are the flowers that are right on here. And then we have a little um, small, it's a 475K if it's a smaller machine. We totally, totally sold out of them at the um, quilt show. We had them, um, I mean, we couldn't believe it when we had these 50 people lined up. People walked in knowing that we were going to have these machines, and they were gone. But you can put your deposit down. We might have one or two coming in yeah, this week. Four in the store. There were four that, um, four. okay. Comes from Madison. You sold out of Madison. Oh, they kept four. Oh, did you hear that, guys? <laughs> There's four in there that you can come and get. Okay. I want to do something, Nick. I don't know if I can right. pop this umbrella. Right. Okay. <laughs> Look at it. Isn't it just wonderful? I mean, it's just so much fun. It's raining in the studio. <laughs> okay. It really is. Um, this One of these is going in my car. I think it's a great idea to keep it and just it, surround yourself with color. It will just make your soul feel good. So that's the umbrellas. They're very, very reasonable. We had, what, 10 boxes, I believe, 15, I don't know, it was a large, large amount of umbrellas, and it was not raining. That was the really fun part. We sold every one. We grabbed one of these boxes so we could uh, show you about it. But again, surround yourself with the color. It's just amazing what he does. With this machine is not only the machine color on here that he painted and then they figured out how to put it on the machine. But look at this beautiful dust cover. This is another thing is, again, you can just see his color. See, look at the yellow, white, and then a navy, right? Just a little dot, which just makes it really, really fun. This is what I call a vintage green. And his machine, the other smaller machine, is out of that vintage green. We've had many people order both. This one, the bigger machine, and then a smaller machine. Now, if that's not in your budget, this machine can be ordered without embroidery. They call it computerized quilting today. The reason so many people are putting the module on the machine is because they want to use it for their labels, and they also want to use it for their computerized quilting. And before I finish showing you the machine, I want to show you something that we did at the show, because again, this is the first time we had an opportunity to show this to anybody. Bernina has come out, and this can fit on any of your machines that have a, a module, with something called, and let's see if I get the word exactly right, it's called the, the uh, medium clamp hoop. I cannot tell you how beautiful this is. It's going to change the way people are going to do and finish their quilts. This is quilted in the hoop. We showed you a small block here, but we could do a, a little larger one if we wanted to. And what we did is just take a design that was right in the machine and quilted it as if this were a block. So if you had a block on a, one of your quilts, you could just keep moving the hoop over. Now this, we did another one. On these uh, quilts behind me that are all done in solid colors, this would absolutely be spectacular. I would take a little less pattern, and that's just me, 
when I would do something uh, if I were quilting a cave hip quilt. But, but I want to stress something about this hoop because this is something that, you know, I hear it every day, or I did. I, it's not quite as much anymore. Someone would come into the shop and they would say, I want a machine, but not embroidery, right? Have you ever heard that or said that yourself? I, I have done it myself because I didn't want to just do embroidery. I didn't think, I, did, I never had one you know, years ago, so I didn't know. What we're finding today that people are using this module for quilting in the hoop or computerized quilting. It's phenomenal what's happening. So I hope you'll really take a look at that. It will change the way you are quilting. The other thing that Bernina has done with this new hoop that is really innovative and is going to be something I'm sure you'll probably see people copying in the future, but this is a clamp hoop. You see these little pieces on here? They can come off. They'll just clamp off and clamp back down on. And, and this is a quilt sandwich. It's thick. It's got a backing, it's got batting, and it's got a top. And that's all we did is take that quilt just as if you were taking it to a long armor. Instead, we just quilted every single square. And this will, I really firmly believe, change the way people are going to do their work in the future. This um, clamps right on, see this little clamp right here? That goes right onto your um, computerized module. So you can just touch the design in your computer or in your, your sewing machine. You don't have to have a computer. And this will do this embroidery design immediately. And here's another one we did. We just moved it over and tried something a little more fun. That's one hoop. <clears throat> then, and, and while I'm showing you the hoop, I want to explain something about these templates. This is a template that fits into the hoop. So you can line up your design. It goes into the corners like this and this. Let's put it in exactly right. And then you can pull it out when you need to. The thing that a, lo that a couple of people ask me, well, why is it white? The only reason it's white, it's clear actually. But what happens when you take this, um, when you get it in the, the um, box, there's a white layer behind it that you're going to just peel off. Okay, so as you can see it on the camera very easily and you can see it when you first get it. And this is your center. You can do a design this way, this way. If you just want to do, you know, an outline quilting around here, you could do that also. So it's a very, very wonderful um, creative piece for you. The next hoop that Bernina designed, and we're putting these in packages for you, and those of you that missed it at the quilt show can come to our store and get them. This is the new, it's called the Large Free Arm Hoop. And this whole tote bag was done with that, um, that hoop. Now, remember, there's a back on that tote, tote bag. Now, in the past, sometimes you've had to open those seams or else just buy a blank that didn't have the seams done. Now, this fits in. And because you've got an opening right here, it folds up underneath. And we'll be demonstrating, I think I've shown you a little bit of that at one particular point in the past. The other thing that I love about it, and I think some of you know what is <laughs> coming next, are the onesies. You can do an easy, quick onesie on this because the whole thing folds right up here and you don't have to worry about sewing on the back side of the onesie. Very, very easy to get in. So that whole particular package comes with this book of stitches. Again, wonderful, wonderful book of stitches. Just lots and lots of fun things. And um, we're not allowed to give all the pricing online. That's just one of Bernina's things. But call our store and we will very definitely um, give you this package price because it's a real good one and it's one that you won't want to miss. I want to go back to what I was showing you before about the cave machine. Do you see this up here? I want to go around the other side and then I have a surprise book I want to show you that we haven't seen before. This is where I'm at when the screen opens up and with all these lights and reflections, I might be a little hard for you to see it. Although my wonderful camera guy here can really get it in real good. So we want to do here, I'm going to pull up one of Cave's designs that we did right on this um, little black piece of fabric. This I think you can see real well. Because what he did, he took these designs and again, he hand stitched them, he drew them, every single design, 
and then the Swiss digitizers put it into the machine. And these are exclusive to this machine. You will never be able to get them anywhere else. Now look at all these files. I, if I go back to stray stitching, these are all the utility stitches, but I'm gonna go into this little decorative stitch um, icon and look at all these. I don't see CAFE on there, so I'm gonna go to page two. And over here, this is his, his symbol. It looks just like what's on that box. It's exactly the way it looks. And I'm gonna to touch it and voila, all these beautiful designs are coming up that we've done on here. And all I have to do is touch one, which I did here. And that's why it came back up again, because I had done this prior. And when you turn your machine off, it'll come back if you uh, want to continue sewing. And I can take this and I can make, do you see these knobs here that'll make them smaller? See this right here? Make it, look at how tiny those are. Or I can make them longer. This is the length. This is your width. See, I'm very narrow. You can't even see what it is, but now I'm getting it much, much bigger. So you have a great many possibilities. Most people will want to keep these stitches exactly the way Keith has designed them because they're all little stitches that you will see in his fabrics. And some of you, if you've seen some of my prior videos, you'll see I took one of these, did the 10, number 10 edge stitch foot, and I did half of the flower on and half of the flower off of a binding. And what's so great about that is that is now keeping that binding very firmly on the quilt. You can throw it in the machine and the washer and you won't have any trouble at all. Okay, I told you that I had something really special. And I'm gonna show you the first one. Now you probably have seen these before. I've, I've been talking about Cave because I do believe he's an incredible artist that I think you should, um, this is him in front of his house. And these are the tiles that he gets his inspiration from. He actually, he told us that he actually goes to these markets and he will buy all kinds of pottery. Or look at the yarns, he's an amazing knitter. He will do a consignment piece for somebody and you can get a coat made by him, but you'll pay about $30,000. So <laughs> I don't know if you want to get a consignment piece, but it certainly would be one of a kind. He does incredible needlepoint and look at the designs and he's taken a lot of this and put that into his fabrics. Look at these, just, just an amazing book. This we've had, this is not his newest, but it's one of his best books that have been out because it's filled with inspiration. This is him with, he's doing some of it. He's got a shirt with his fabrics on and there are his peonies that he's put into the, the um, design. But the new thing, and surprise, I was so thrilled. We thought we were going to have these for the quilt show. This is so hot off the press that we, I can kind of feel the ink. This is his new book. It's called Quilts in Wales. And it is, the photography in here is just, oh my goodness, it's just wonderful. I can't wait to sit down. This is the first time I've really um, seen it. Look at, look at what he's done here. And he'll take it and put it into... Um, castles and various old stone pieces and uh, walls and beautiful, beautiful greenery. And he'll put these quilts, he'll just plop them in the middle of shrubbery. And look at how gorgeous that is. Look at that. So I hope you'll come in. I will put this on our website because I know you'll want to get this. But in order to really be involved in the cave scene, you will want the machine. Now, if you look behind me, this is the beautiful um, luggage that is coming with this package. There's a big package that comes with the 70. And again, it's according to your budget, it's very reasonable to purchase this machine without the uh, quilting module or the embroidery module. And you can always add that on later, but you don't have to have it. You do beautiful work with this machine and if you're not going to ever do your labels or you're not ever going to do any kind of decorative um, embroidery designs, because he's got some beautiful embroidery designs that, um, he, that come with the module, then, you know, wait and maybe later on you'll change your mind and add it at that time. But this will get you be able to be into a cave machine and it would be in your budget. Now, again, I want to sum up the package. It's this beautiful fabric. I believe these are yard cuts. I thought they were fat quarters, but they're much bigger. And then you have the dust cover 
you have the machine, you have the um, wonderful um, cab or uh, trolley over there, and then we put together a beautiful package for you. So you will need to call us, and we hope you're going to be one of those owners of the cave machine. Now, if we have enough time, I, I think I think rather than um, muddy up all the cave with <laughs> something else, what I'm going to do is just show you this is my one of my favorite designers behind me. And I will do another video just on Tilda. Tilda is the Norwegian designer that I think merges and marries with uh, Kate in a wonderful way. So let's try that on our next video. And I hope to see you next week. Thank you so much for listening. And all of my new friends in the, from the Wisconsin Quilt Show, give me a shout out. <laughs> Thank you so much. See you next week.